The Pili Nothing is just another adventure. I'm here in the Philippines, uh, going to these remote places, trying to find Pili Nuts, and that's how we came up with the Pili Hunters. came down here to, to film and we were lucky we got a bunch of uh, a bunch of footage of them climbing the trees the, the more time I spend down in the Philippines the more I sort of get to understand the Pili Nut a little bit I still don't know much about it but I'm learning every time I come down here and there's just an insane insane amount of labor that goes into it these guys essentially risk their lives But how does he climb up there? Does he go up there on this one? Yeah, also using the bamboo. But they must need a really big ass bamboo. Uh, I used to be a climber. I climbed for a lot of years. I would never climb up a tree and be hanging out uh, 100 feet off the deck like with a stick pulling peeling nuts out. Check out this. I love the way the, the roots come out. This is a nice peely tree. I just like the way the, I don't know, what do you call that, Emma? The way the roots come out, or the, the, the base of the tree. Beautiful, man. There's a whole movement for organic peely nuts. I promise you, 99% of the peely nuts that are coming out of the bee pole, or at least the ones that I'm working with, are better than organic. We're walking through, uh, what would be considered a farm, but I don't consider it a farm, I just consider it sort of natural landscape. These trees are, what, 100 years old probably? Yes. Especially the bigger ones? Yeah, more than 100 years. Uh, you can look around, so they, they crop pretty, really well with uh, the coconut tree here. You can see some coconuts, yeah, growing right here. If you look over right here, there's another small peely tree. That's a peely right there. So. A lot of people are really pushing for organic certification. I think you can probably look around here and see that uh, there's nobody spraying out here. Uh, you can hear the bugs. They're chirping right now. It wouldn't be cost effective for them to climb up into these trees all the way to the top and somehow spray them or systematically spray the bottom. They just, they don't have that kind of money and there's no reason. Sure, I think some of the fruit gets eaten by bugs, but it's after the fact normally. The, the peely trees, they spray in, bugs? They spray the fertilizer. No. no. And fertilizer? No. No need. No need. It's no. self-sufficient. Yeah. These volcanoes, this volcano and some of the ones further south, are what feed, fed this amazing soil that creates the peely nuts that that grows amazing fruits, coconuts. Uh, this ultra rich volcanic soil is what gives the peely nut the really high manganese, the phosphorus, the calcium, the zinc, uh, the copper, uh, the vit you know, all the good stuff that you're getting out of this soil. It, it's coming directly from the, uh, from the volcanic soil. Nobody's spraying pesticides out here. We're really pushing to keep these, this is one of the pristine regions here in the Philippines that's not, uh, uh, it's not overrun with people, small population, and it's really nice still. And they're not out here spraying pesticides, and they're not monocropping. Uh, this would be a farm, so you've got peely trees here. But it's not like they came in here like plantation style, U.S. style, monocrop, planted 10,000 peely trees, spray them, give them fertilizer, 
and then call, or even use organic fertilizer and call them organic. This is wild uh, from the forest.